Today is uh, May 12th, uh, 2017. I'm going to do a backyard garden video. Uh, a lot is happening, at least it seems. And uh, we'll let you see. Here we go. First, let me point out this tree here is a white peach. And Look at that, I've got peaches. Last year I didn't get any peaches, I don't think, maybe one or two, but I didn't get any peaches that I remember. <clears throat> I think the birds may have got them, or I just don't think I had, I cut back the tree so much, I don't think I had any fruit. But look, this year it looks like I'm gonna get peaches, Lord willing, Father guard them. And now the peas, they're getting taller. Now these are bush peas. They're supposed to get 18 inches to two feet tall. So they're about, I don't know, 10 inches tall maybe. And then here's some bush beans. So these will be green beans. And hey, I think I noted this once, but the uh, mint did come up in uh, my little herb wheelbarrow. I think I'm going to let this mo be mostly mint. We'll see. And, and it looks like I've got possibly spare mint in the front yard. And I have one piece of mint coming up, or maybe two, right there. Can you see that? Now, this is chocolate mint. Very nice mint. I would really like to have a lot of that all over the place. Now, this plum tree, I don't see a single plum on it, which is very disheartening. Now, these bush beans, they're doing very nice. Look at that. They're just popping up. Now, this is celery. I'm, I'm just so surprised I have celery growing in my garden. I didn't, I didn't get any last year. I must have planted it, and it didn't come up. And then this year, it came up. And look, now this is going to flower, so... It may be that I'm late on harvesting it. But anyway, I'm so excited to see celery. And then uh, some of these uh, <clears throat> onions seem to be doing okay. I planted so many in here, and I just see a few. So that's kind of sad. But I do see a marigold, and that's good. Marigolds are supposed to be real good for keeping bad insects out of your garden. So I see two marigolds. And I did come back here the other day and plant seven tomatoes along this fence. You see them there? And they seem to be doing pretty good. Not too bad. Now this oregano overwintered and it's just taken over this plot. I haven't done anything to this one. This needs to be dug out and, and planted with something. And that's one of my projects that I want to do. And this one, this is actually overwintered. This, I didn't do anything to this plot except add maybe that one celery there that I transplanted. But then the other ones were already coming up. So look at that celery and some onions. Now back here, I have been taking off the, uh, you're supposed to, if you want the growth to stay in your bulb down below, you take off the flower. Now I didn't do that in the front to my onions, which well, maybe a mistake. Now, I did get one radish that I picked today. Very nice. And then this zucchini, this squash. I've got four different, or I think four different types of squash right here. And they're all, look, they're all coming up now. One, two, three, and then just, this is the first time I've seen this one. I was thinking it wasn't coming up. And then, of course, some grass. And these are radishes. See that one? Yeah, this one we can pick actually. So that's a nice radish. We'll go ahead and pick this one too. So that's three radishes that I picked today. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Why not? The Trinity of radishes. So I'm very excited to get radishes. 
Now I haven't done anything to this bed. These potatoes came up on their own. I really need to dig it out and do it proper. I know there's a ton of uh, tree roots in here. So I'm going to put, I'll dig it out and then put cardboard on the bottom, kind of hopefully to be a barrier. And you can see my leaf pile it is decreasing, but it's still huge. So I need to use those leaves in the garden. I mean, I can put them in the pathways and stuff and around plants. Okay, that's kind of what's happening in the back garden here. I do have a couple of uh, cherry trees further back and I've been burning a whole bunch of brush. In fact, I'm amazed I was able to get as much cleaned up. So there are two two cherry trees back over there and I may plant an apple tree back here now that I took down that you might be able to see that stump there and you might be able to see the smoking uh, the coals are still very hot and I did burn a little bit more brush today a little bit of I raked some of the twigs off of the ground there's so much it's amazing how much I need to clean up things. Now this onion bed here, I didn't really talk about. These are all from uh, little bulbs, except these little ones were from seed. And that bed over there, pretty much everything was from seed. So that's how come it looks so weak compared to here, where it's starting to look, uh, well, it's starting to look like nice onions. Well, um, that's the backyard garden for you. I'm very excited to see the peach tree full of uh, peaches. And um, I think that'll do for now. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.